Hey everyone! Oh god, that was a little too far. Hey everyone, it is Anna. As you may have seen in the past, I have done 10 pet peeves. I have done 10 should be pet peeves, I believe. Maybe it was five. I don't know who's keeping track anymore, really. But you know what? It's a New York, New Year, new me. That was awful. Anyway, I thought we would do a more positive note and do 10. No, no. Five. Dear god, not 10. Please. Five teeny tiny minuscule things, just little everyday treasures that really just warm my heart that I just love. The first of which is people who laugh so hard that they need to like grab onto your arm or like just grab onto something. I love this. And I have a couple of friends who do this, but people who do this who need to grab onto something to laugh, keep doing you. It's amazing. I like to think of myself, well, I don't even know if I think of myself as a funny person. I make myself laugh, and really, at the end of the day, that's what matters, right? Whatever, bullshit. It makes me feel super validated when I make a joke and someone has to grab on to something to laugh. Like, there is no greater compliment for a joke than that. Shout out to my friends who do this. Love y'all for it. I'll keep telling jokes around you. You're my favorites. Number two is when you take out the trash and then you put a fresh trash can thing in there, a fresh bag in there, and then just the first piece of trash to go in the trash can. That's it. Nothing fancy, just boop, and then the bag kind of goes, since it's empty, it kind of goes just to accommodate. It's a nice feeling. Number three is, and I hope, I really hope y'all can relate to me on this, I hope that you've experienced this at some point because I feel like these are the moments that make life so freaking amazing and wonderful. When it gets to be really, really, really late at night and like you just have those deep talks with people maybe that you've just met, that's the best. And you just have like 4 a.m. and it's just that time of day where like it's time to share some secrets, time to share some feelings. And you start just talking about life and death and love and just like everything pours out and it's so real and you don't have to hide anything and everyone's kind of tired and it's like mm, we won't talk about this in the morning it's like a pact it's like a it's like a three four five a.m pact and then you gotta let that moment drift away that's the beauty of the moment it comes and then it drifts away and you can only hope to experience it again another night with more people or the same people i don't give a fuck Number four is taking that first bite of a wonderfully made fajita. And if you live somewhere where they don't have fajitas all the time, then I'm sorry for you. What is it like to live such a crappy existence? I make the most bomb fajitas. Each, each fajita that I make is a piece of art. It should go in a gallery. How to make the perfect fajita. So you got your tortilla, right? Single stripe of sour cream down the middle. To the left or right if you if you want to mix it up. Guacamole to the other side of the sour cream, whichever one you did not pick for the guacamole. Refried beans. You got your rice. On top of that, that's the time when you start with the fajita meat. We put the tomatoes. We put the shredded cheese. Listen, shredded cheese and sour cream are the best parts of the fajita. You can't you can't deny that. That's just, that's like fact. Be generous with the cheese. Put that cheese on, treat yourself. And then finally you put on the salsa. All of this should be very, very compact in a single line so that when you roll it up, you just have this beautiful little thing. Take a bite and all of your hard work comes together. Number five, now let me tell you something. One of the worst, most awful anxiety ridden feelings in this world is when, let's say you're like, you're just sleeping, you're just sleeping, minding your own business, you don't know you're sleeping because you're sleeping, that's meta. But you're sleeping, ring ring, phone call, what's going on, you're out of it, you, hello? Yeah, uh, your audition slot was for this time, are you still coming? And you're late, you're late, you're late, you're late, and when you just know, when you just realize, just like that, like, you're not gonna make it. It's the worst. And then you're running around like, oh, 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 shit, 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 shit. where is my other shoe? But then here, on the flip side, is the best feeling. When it doesn't matter that you're late and just everything just melts away. You'll get there and they still have like 30 more minutes before they even get to you and no one, no one blinks an eye. No one like scolds you. It's like no one really cares. 
Or you'll get there and they'll be like, yeah, I know that there was this really bad traffic accident on this this certain road. Like, everyone else is late too, and you're like, yeah, I was stuck in that, it was pretty bad. And they're like, oh no, we completely understand, we completely understand. And you're just like, <laughs> so those are some of my favorite little things in life. What are some of your favorite little things? I love hearing them and being like, oh yeah, I do really like that. So leave those below in the comments. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!